From time immemorial, it has been debated. It is no secret that Knights of the Old Republic 2 contains a plethora of female characters, but not too many. It's a nice and condensed list, and yet, to this day, the community cannot come to a consensus of which one is the best waifu. To this day! But rest assured, my friends, I have arrived to put all of your minds at ease, and once and for all, I will settle this debate. And with the power invested in me, I shall unite our community from now until the end of time. Now what I'm about to show you is irrefutable proof. This is not an opinion, this is law. Proof that I may never have been able to find without the help of a friend of the channel and fellow man of culture. 100% Star Wars. A true man of culture. As we all know, we have three main contenders for best waifu. That's right, three. No offense, but no gilfs. None taken. And you know what? For those of you who are actually into that kind of thing, you ain't clean with a damn nasty bitch. And no, T3M4 is not a good little girl. Mira the bounty hunter, Fizazmar the blinded one, and Brianna the servant of Atrus. Here they all are. These are their portraits side by side. This is what they'll look like if they're neutral or on the light side. Okay? All wonderful and vibrant looking women. Now, this is what they look like when they're halfway towards the dark side. On both the Handmaiden and Mira, you can see that the slight smile they both had is gone. Mira is looking especially mean with her eyebrows now frowning in. The Handmaiden decides that black is now in season, but all of them take to wearing darker makeup, which is pretty hot. Now what you see here is the fully dark side version of Mira and Vizazmar. As you can see, the makeup is even darker now, which is still hot. But they've also contracted some kind of nigh necrotic skin condition. It seems to be worse for Mira since we can see the upper half of her face. But her eyes are blank. Her hair has progressed from bright to blood red. She looks zombified. <laughs> Looking at them in game doesn't make it any better either. The skin condition looks even worse. And yet Brianna, the handmaiden, looks like this when fully dark-sided. Darker lipstick, heavier eyeshadow, and a dark blush. Along with the black robes, no skin condition. In fact, she looks hotter now than she did on the light side. This is law. Objectively, Brianna is the best looking waifu. <laughs> Why you pulling me? I'm right. In game, she's still fine. There is no arguing this. This can't be argued. So in conclusion, Vizaz Mar may be voiced by the lovely Kelly Hugh. The fact that Brianna remains hot, regardless of alignment, is irrefutable proof that she maintains waifu status through thick and thin, therefore she is the best waifu, I rest my case. Boom! You just got faced! In the face of such overwhelming evidence, Whoever is not Team Brianna must now immediately convert as they have no choice. The logic is simply flawless. I dare you to leave any vain attempts at a rebuttal within the comment section. Go on, write it. See how you can't do it. Hit me, hit me, hit me. You can't do it. And if you're still thinking about Kraya, nasty bitch. 